Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded, but uh, we're back with a career mode video this day. Uh, you might recognize that I'm not playing Kerbal Space Program 2. I made a video about how I had a lot of issues with that game. Um, it's really unfinished and should never have been released so early, um, even though it had already been delayed for two years. But, uh, back to the topic. We're just doing a quick little uh, career mode video for this episode. Um, I, I'd like to make this a series, but I also want your guys' feedback, so like, if you don't like it, I won't do it. If you guys do like it, I'll keep doing it. Um, but in this first video, the goal is to get uh, some tours on a suborbital trajectory. Um, and that gives us a, a fair amount of science. Uh, probably a goal of the next video, get some tours to orbit, or uh, maybe a trajectory towards the moon. Um, but right now we're just doing the, the main thing with the spacecraft, where you land it in the water, uh, the little, uh, little SRB with the pod on top and the fin. And we just recover the vessel there, and you see all the science and the cash that we get. Researching a few things that we can get. Um, then I just did some upgrading. I really didn't need to upgrade the, uh, launch pad, but, uh, I do random stuff that's not required. Uh, I accepted a few contracts here, a few easy contracts, uh, and then we're just, uh, finishing those contracts up, get a little bit more science. And, uh, I believe we have the, uh, thermostat now, too, that I use. Oh, maybe not, maybe that's uh, but this is just just keeps it really simple with these little guys. You can get a little bit of science from each time you get less science from them, but they're good for a few launches. Um, next launch, we build a slightly larger vehicle uh, for a contract that we had. Um, I upgraded the launch pad, um, and I believe I upgraded the uh, the VAP too. I don't know why I did that, but. Uh, you know, why not? I have the money for it, so. Uh, but now we have a liquid fueled rocket engine, so we can use some uh, normal uh, actual fuel tanks. I had to change, do a whole bunch of changing, so I made a cut. So the the liquid rocket fuel stage is on the bottom, solid rocket fuel stage on the top. Very simple suborbital rocket that is horribly inefficient, but. It gets to orbit, and or it gets to suborbit, and there's no way it could have made it to orbit, so I don't really care. So the goal was just to get this thing to suborbit. Um, then you can see the uh, SRB firing up in a minute here. After I change the staging, because I didn't get the staging right, because that's that's me. I do that a lot. There goes the solid rocket booster with the awesome little uh, real plume flame, which looks way better than stock game and way better than KSP2. Uh, but a little bit of uh, heat coming off the friction of the atmosphere, they couple the stage, get a little bit more science with the uh, mystery goo and the thermostat, I believe, at this uh, higher altitude, which is always good. Always want that. Um, and I believe it gets up to about 120,000 kilometers. I can't see here because the editing window is super tiny. I made this, I don't remember the exact stuff. Uh, I went for a little barbecue roll re-entry because it didn't have a heat shield on it. Uh, might have overlooked that. But uh, Kerbo landed safely, it was fine. Probably was a rather harsh landing, but uh, he'll live. Um, and then here we're accepting some uh, in a second here. Now we're accepting some tourist contracts, I believe. Um, if I can read that right, which I think I can. Uh, and then we get a little bit more science up. Um, and this will actually let us do the tourist stuff. So that's fun. So yeah, researching as much stuff as we can with the science we have. I'm not I'm not like a, a pro career mode player, so I don't know what should be researched and what shouldn't be, but uh the ferry craft is going to be very simple. I don't have any, um, like, extra crew capsules, so I'm just sticking two on top of each other and being lazy. Looks really goofy, horribly inefficient, but it can still do a suborbital trajectory. And that's all we care about. Um, but again, I do, wanna, I do want you guys to, like, if you don't like these kind of videos, then just let me know, because there's always other stuff to do in Curl's Whisper Room. I know I haven't uploaded in a while. I apologize about that. Uh, but, you know, 
we're we're back uploading, and the uh, the career mode seems to be very nice actually. Uh, the last time I played it was about six months ago, and it really just uh, was not that great. Um, but this experience was much better, and uh, I hope to get at least two a fairy tourist in orbit next episode. Maybe get to the moon. Um, but back to the actual video here. Uh, we get to get them into a suborbital trajectory. I believe it just barely made a suborbital trajectory. Separate that lower booster. Get that thermometer science. Uh, barometer, I believe, is on board too. Mystery goo. And then just get them back down safely to Kerbin's surface. Back towards the KSC. I put two drug shoots on there. Uh, definitely didn't need them. Uh, but I thought that I had crashed before that blew up because... I didn't have drug shoots on them, so put the drug shoots on there. Oh, also, I want to mention one thing. I am using real shoot. Um, it makes parachutes look nice, but I'm not using the real shoot parachutes. I'm using the stock parachutes with the re real shoot reskin, if that makes sense. So it's not changing any of the physics in the game. It just makes it look a lot nicer, much more actual spacecraft. Uh, but that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Goodbye.